Jordan Moore, Keely, or Max Brown, and I apologize for mispronouncing your name last time. It is Amelia Veska. Am I doing that right? That's correct. All right. You are from Germany, so I have to get that correct German pronunciation. But you're a leader on this women's volleyball team, uh, which is uh, congratulations. You were, you made the NCAA tournament. You're a six seed. You start with high point this week. You head to, to uh, Columbus on Friday. How's the team feeling going into the postseason? We're stoked. We're absolutely fired up for this postseason. I think we've had a long season so far. Um, Lots of ups and downs, especially like October, November. That's a rough time because we never get a week off like football does, you know. <laughs> it's always two games a week. So yeah. we've definitely been through it. Um, had to figure, figure out a lot of stuff, did a lot of problem solving. But I think in the end, what mattered for us is like a constant improvement week to week. And so I think um, now's the time to go. It's, it's do or die. So we're really fired up for the first two rounds now in Columbus, Ohio. And yeah, I think this team has a great chemistry. So I'm really excited to see where this is headed. You talk about the chemistry of this team. It was interesting when you guys first got together. It was a mix of like veterans and then very young freshmen. How did you guys eventually bond that that chemistry? Right. It was a really interesting um, situation, I would say. We do have um, a leadership committee with the older girls who kind of come up with a structure to the team, I would say, so that, you know, freshmen can kind of like follow the lead a little bit especially in the beginning, like heading into right into the freshman semester of college and right into season. Like that's really tough for fall sports, I would say. Um, and so, yeah, we really just, you know, welcomed them very much into the team and kind of like helped them figure out their first uh, few steps, like adjusting. A lot of the times when I look at them, look at them, I kind of see myself in them too, like how I came in here as a freshman, pretty much not knowing anything, anybody. So um it's really cool to be like that leader for the team and kind of like teach them or, yeah, teach them our traditions, I would say. You're coming off a big win versus our rivals, UCLA. I know that's huge any season, no matter the records. What do you take from that win? What kind of momentum does that give you going into the postseason? Um, it was a great game. It was an unforgettable experience for me with my mom in the stands for the first time. So, because um, it was senior night too. Um, and... I don't know. The win, honestly, just um, kind of made that night like way more unforgettable than it already was, I would say. Um, beating a cross down rail is always, you know, there's nothing better than that. <laughs> and that night, Galen was packed. Um, I think we, have fi we had 5,000 fans in the building and we could definitely feel the crowd. It was electric. It was, I don't know, it was magical because I never had a doubt in my head um, that we were going to lose that game because of that electric energy in the building and our team just being fired up and, and passionate and like in the moment so it was really unforgettable well yeah you said it's your senior night your mom it was the first time your mom had seen you play at sc yeah wow so give us That's your awesome. backstory backstory a little bit coming from germany how'd you end up at usc and 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 you know become a trojan right um it kind of happened it was kind of an accident i have to say <laughs> no um i kind of didn't want to you know just continue playing volleyball right after high school and not go like get a degree I always kind of wanted to do both at the same time I didn't want to pick one over the other and it's hard to become a student athlete um, in Germany or anywhere else in the world yeah. besides the U.S. so that was always kind of like in the back of my head um, and then I had an American teammate a shout out to Nia Grant at this point on my team in Potsdam in Germany my hometown that helped me out with kind of the recruiting process but from overseas I never used an agency so I just emailed um you know sent over a highlight tape in USC Southern California I mean what sounds better than that <laughs> fair enough and I got really lucky with the coaches you know had, had that had a spot open for me that same year so Something that I always think is is fascinating just from the outside is when you're a senior and your sport goes to a tournament setting, how do you come to terms with the fact that you you don't know whether or not you're playing your last game? How do you how do you juggle that? Right. Um it kind of helps me to be more in the moment even. Like there's less thought about the future now than like in the past years I would say because I know exactly what I'm here for at this point. Like I'm just playing every game as if it was my last because it, it might be. <laughs> so it's really simple at this point. And I'm just I'm just as excited to do it with these girls this year because it's a very special connection there. I used to go to volleyball games all the time. My wife played Why's here. That? Yeah, I don't know. Some I was <laughs> I was a groupie. Um, <laughs> but I was like watching her highlights and I noticed like 
the new new swag era, like the sleeves, the the full on like uh, arm sleeves. When did that become a thing, and why is that your go to? It looks great. I'm all about it. But when did that become <laughs> uh, your go to? Right. Um, I never actually used to play with sleeves until you know they started coming out with those um, sleeveless jerseys. And yep. so I don't want to look like, you know, a punk or like <laughs> my tank top right there. So yep. um, the sleeves just make it look real nice. I love the the color fading, you know. Did you the see The gradient. That? I got you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it, not only does it look nice, it's also good for passing. It's oh, the specialty of your That always your hurts. Wife. Whenever I play like beach volleyball, yeah. my forearms and Vic always gives me crap. Like it's just bright red. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's kind of helpful for the touch too, yeah. yeah. You know, you're so anti the yellow tights in football, but you're for the yellow sleeves in women's volleyball. See, there's no consistency to your there's, taste. There's gradient. There's gradient. I am not a USC yellow guy. USC black, though. I saw the courts now black and yeah. your jacket as well, but the outer stripe, oh. that is swaggy. It is. That yeah. Whoever did that, I don't know if that's a Mike Bone thing, Terraflex. Terraflex. Really legit. <laughs> All right, Amelia, get on that plane uh, coming up to Columbus. Come back with two Ws. You guys have High Point first, and then potentially the Buckeyes down the road on their home court. So it's a big week ahead for USC women's volleyball. Thank you for taking the time to preview it with us.